Have you ever thought to yourself, wow, shoveling snow is really hard work and I definitely don't want to buy a snowblower, but I want to spend a couple hundred dollars on something. Well, the power shovel answers the question that nobody is asking of what fits between a manual snow shovel and a single stage snow blower. The power shovel. Power shovels are weird. The product itself isn't exactly a shovel and it's not exactly a snow blower either. It's kind of a hybrid product that sort of lands in the middle. Now I bought the Ego branded power shovel, but they're made by almost all manufacturers. And the coolest thing about the Ego is that it's part of an ecosystem that involves a power head assembly that you can put different attachments on. So I have the pole saw attachment that I use in the spring and the summer and switching over to winter is as simple as unscrewing a thumb screw, sliding off the old attachment and putting the power shovel attachment on. That's actually kind of cool and I really like this system overall. What I was most impressed with the power shovel would be the ability to throw snow. I thought that was going to be the shortcoming of the product and boy was I mistaken. It had no problem ripping through light powdery snow up to about four or five inches. It's definitely geared towards those lighter dusting snows. For throwing the snow, I had no issues. It was chucking snow really far, and I'm gonna show you some clips that are going to make the thing look fairly impressive. And it's not just tricky camera angles or video editing or anything like that. It actually rips pretty good. Uh, I was impressed. Even the wet slushy snow, it was able to kind of churn up and, and throw a pretty decent distance. I was surprised with an electric unit's availability to power through snow that I thought it would really kind of bog it down. But it didn't really bog down. In fact, it cut through almost everything that I put it up against, from powdery snow to wet slushy snow. It did a really nice job of throwing snow. One user tip that I gotta share with you is if you're an idiot like me and uh, are trying to use the power shovel on a gravel driveway, pay attention to what you're taking in. I actually took in a rock when I first started using it. Now, if this were to happen to you, uh, you definitely don't wanna stick your hands or your fingers down into that propeller. And if you do do that, anyways you're gonna want to take the battery and at least disconnect it now of course i did none of those things and this channel is really more about what not to do sometimes than it is a how to but i managed to keep all my fingers intact i rinsed it out and could easily see the rock i got the rock out of there and we were back in action no problem now my main issue with this unit is how heavy it is oh my god gosh, it is heavy. It is so heavy. Due to the weight, you really can't use it as a shovel. And any video you see of someone using one of these power shovels, they're going to move it forward, you know, sliding it on, on the ground like a shovel would. But when they, on the back stroke, when they're pulling it back, you're going to see them slide it on the ground because it's so heavy that it doesn't make sense to try to pick it up and bring it back like you do when you shovel. You just kind of have to slide it and maneuver it around which makes it really difficult to get kind of a clean cut. Again, if you're considering buying one of these things, look around at other videos, including mine, and you'll see everyone doing the same thing. They push it forward on the ground, and then they sort of slide it back around the path that they just cleared, and then they push it forward again. You really can't go forward, pick up, bring back, go forward like a shovel. It really doesn't work like a shovel at all. It's simply too heavy. Heavy. It's hard to talk about a product without bringing up price. This thing is expensive. They're all expensive. There's some cheap ones on Amazon or whatever if you want to try to keep it under a hundred bucks. But for the most part, from a quality manufacturer, someone with a name or a reputation like Ego or Toro or Greenworks, these things are like a couple hundred dollars. Again, I just keep thinking about a single stage snowblower and why you wouldn't just buy that instead of the power shovel. Ultimately, it doesn't work really good as a shovel because of the massive weight of the head power unit. And it doesn't really work as good as a snowblower because it's just a miniature version. It's just a small head. It's only 12 inches wide. It doesn't really do either thing very good. And it's just sort of a product that sort of lives in this in-between space of kind of sucking at everything, but being like a okay-ish tool. So if you're thinking about buying a power shovel or you're kicking around the idea, my advice is don't. Just don't do it. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
Don't even think about it. Stop thinking about it right now and start shopping for a snow blower. If you like this video, think about subscribing to the channel. If you think I'm wrong about the power shovel, you have one, maybe you'll love it, maybe it changed your life, let me know about it in the comments. I would love to hear from someone that actually bought one of these that loves it because I wanted to like it and I just don't.